I recently gave some QSL cards out to some of my students in fourth and fifth grade. Then we went outside with a very low power transceiver and tried to make some contacts with some stations. We were unsuccessful because I was using a small portable antenna and we were pretty close to the school. So the kids wanted to actually hear what ham radio sounded like when there was two-way communication. Well at home I have a Flex 5000 transmitter which puts out about 100 watts which is a lot more than the transceiver we had at the school which was 5 watts and I have a much higher antenna the antenna I had at school was a portable vertical about 12 feet tall and the antenna I have here is a log periodic beam antenna. So for the kids at school I put together some contacts that I made with a number of different people in many different countries, Italy, uh, Germany, uh, and even the USA. Talked to somebody in the USA who did a little bit of an explanation of ham radio. So. Here it is. I want you to understand that uh, when there's a ham radio contest, the, the conversation is very, very brief. And in some cases, when it's not a contest, and you're talking to a station in Italy, for example, one of the difficulties is they don't understand very much English, so the contact is very brief. So you might just say your name and your location and a signal report. Unfortunately, the signal reports are usually not very honest and you may hear that because a 5-9 is an excellent signal report and you will hear in some of the contacts that we make today that it's hard to hear. The other station was hard to hear or I was hard to hear and they still got an ex a pretty excellent signal report. So let's listen to some of the contacts I had and for this, this is made mostly for the students uh, in the fourth and fifth grade. Kilowatt 1, Oscar India Kilowatt, K1OIK. Go ahead. K1OIK. Yes, that's K1OIK. My name is Bert. Bravo, Uniform Romeo Tango. Bert is my name. I am located in Massachusetts. Located in Massachusetts. Go ahead. I had one contact today from Massachusetts. So this, you are the second contact of Massachusetts, Bert. And my name is Maggie, Mike Alpha Golf Golf India Echo. I'm located here in South in the vicinity of Munich, um, Germany, and I can hear you uh, five and nine, uh, five and seven, excuse me. Uh, you are five and nine in Massachusetts. You're five and nine in Massachusetts. And uh, I am recording this for one of my students, or some of my students, one of whom's named is Maggie. So I have a student that is named Maggie. I am a teacher. And uh, so she will be very happy to hear that uh, there are someone in Germany with her name. Uh, give me your call again. I wrote it down, but I lost it. Go ahead. Oh, this is nice that I can be a student. <laughs> my calls are nostalgic before. Tango, Tango, Bravo. Okay, uh, Delta Lima 4, Tango, Tango, Bravo, K1OIK. Well, I took a QRP rig to school, but we didn't have much luck making contacts. So the students asked me to uh, make a video of contacts I made at home, and uh, then I could wa they could watch and see that I could actually talk to somebody uh, far, far away. So uh, my students are around 9 or 10 years old, and the Maggie I have is uh, 10, she just turned, uh, t I think she's 11 now, actually. Uh, Delta Lima 4, Tango Tango Bravo, K1 OIK. Oh, uh, this is nice to hear it, K1 OIK. Um, I'm a little bit older, you can look me up at the coolset.com, but it was a pleasure to talk to you and um, see you soon, hope to hear you soon. This is Delta Lima 4, Tango Tango Bravo, 73, and bye-bye. Okay, Delta Lima 4, Tango Tango Bravo, K1OIK. Thank you very much for the contact, and uh, we will see you again. Bye-bye.
Canada, UTC, 17 hours, 34 minutes. Echo Alpha 2 Alpha Alpha Zulu. Here is K1 OIK, Kilowatt 1 Oscar India Kilowatt. My name is Bert Bravo Uniform Romeo Tango. I am located in Massachusetts. I'm located in Massachusetts and you're 59 in Massachusetts uh, using a Flex 5000 about 90 watts. Uh, Flex 5000 about 90 watts. Uh, so back to you, Echo Alpha 2, Alpha Alpha Zulu, K1 OIK. Kilo 6, Kilo Papa Romeo, here is K1 OIK. Okay, a good copy. You're about 5'7 in Massachusetts. 5'7 in Massachusetts. There is some interference. My name is Bert Bravo Uniform Romeo Tango. Bert is my name, and I'm located in Massachusetts. Uh, so back to you. Italy Kilo 6, Kilo Papa Romeo, K1 OIK. Uh, my name is Bert. Bravo, uniform, Romeo, Tango. Bert is my name. Italy, Zulu 6, Kilo Papa Radio, Romeo, K1, OIK. Italy Zulu 6 Kilo Papa Romeo K1 OIK. Okay, being on being in the central part of Italy. And uh, my name is Bert. Bravo Uniform Romeo Tango. Bravo Uniform Romeo Tango using a Flex 5000. Uh, Italy Zulu 6 Kilo Papa Romeo K1 OIK. Cape Cod. Uniform Alpha 4, Lima, Canada Hotel. Uh, here is K1 Oscar India Kilowatt, uh, Alex. Uniform Alpha 4, Lima, Canada Hotel. This is Kilowatt 1, Oscar India Kilowatt. Go ahead. Hi, uh, 
Uh, Bert, Bravo, Uniform, Romeo, Tango. Bert, Bravo, Uniform, Romeo, Tango. Go ahead. Hotel Bravo 9, Charlie Alpha, K1, OIK. I am not in the contest, but I'll give you some information. What do you need? Uh, Roger, K1, oh, up go for Kilo. Thank you. You're 5978 Alpha Golf, and all I need is a serial number, like 001. Okay, um, my call is Kilowatt 1, Oscar India, Kilowatt, K1, OIK, and I am located in Massachusetts, and my serial number is 001. Go ahead. Hotel Bravo 9, Sierra Golf, K1, OIK. I know uh, it's Oscar India Kilowatt, K1, OIK. Oscar India Kilowatt, you're 59002. Go ahead. Uh, Roger, Roger. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I hope I have given you enough information. Go ahead. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, thank you very much and have a nice weekend. Bye. Yeah, okay, very good. Uh, uh, very good there, uh, Bert. Uh, K10IK from KR0E. Well, I, you know, uh, to kind of repeat, uh, when I was uh, uh, 12 and 13 years old, I got interested in building any kind of projects I could find. And when I discovered ham radio, that gave me a, a venue, if you will, to uh, uh, to work in because I, I had a number of projects that uh, that came up uh, first uh, just uh, coat gears and then later on transmitters and receivers uh, and th those those projects uh, were just absolutely intriguing to me I, I, where I could read in the magazines and in the books uh, how to build things uh, gather the parts uh, and start to build it up I really didn't have anybody to show me how to do things so I had to do everything from books and magazines uh, and made a lot of mistakes and things that generally didn't work <laughs> at first, but eventually started to get the, uh, get the little projects, uh, learn how to solder, to build the projects, get them working, and when I could actually get something on the air that I built, it was extremely rewarding. Uh, and probably more than operating, I was involved in uh, building projects. That just, uh, that thrilled me, and that's really what uh, inspired me to go on into electrical engineering as a career, which I did. And uh, I was active in ham radio and building projects all the way through my college year, high school and then college years. Uh, and uh, uh, that's, uh, so that's, that's kind of the story. Uh, went, went into aerospace engineering and then uh, military electronics and then stuck uh, and then uh, uh, broke out on my own in my own business uh, in my late 20s. And uh, uh, that was in uh, uh, my entrepreneurial endeavors, two different businesses spanning about 35 years was my career. Uh, and uh, I, I never, uh, never have regretted for a day getting involved in this wonderful hobby because it, it gave me a, uh, uh, it gave me a focus that I think was very, very helpful in, in developing what ultimately became a career. Uh, Bert, back over to you, K1OIK, KR0E. KR0E, K1OIK. Okay, that sounds great. Uh, I'm, it was interesting to listen to whether I'm a kid or not.